Last example, let's look at rationalizing the following the denominator. So we have 7 divided by 3 minus the square root of x. So with this one, I'm going to have to multiply the top and the bottom by its conjugate. Alright, even though it has an x in there, no worries. This will be 3 plus the square root of x. We'll do that on the bottom and on the top. Alright, let's see what this does to the top as we distribute. And remember that on the bottom, we will FOIL. So I get 21 plus 7, the square root of x for the top. Uh, on the bottom, we have 9 plus 3 times the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of x. And then minus uh, the square root of x times the square root of x. Okay, so if we do things correctly, we should get rid of all those radicals in the bottom. Plus square root and minus square root, those two will take care of each other. And then my square root of x times square root of x will give me just an x. So this will finally leave us with a 21 plus 7 square root of x all over 9 minus x. And now that we've gotten rid of all those radicals in the bottom, we can say that our denominator is rationalized. So you can see that when you are working with, say, dividing radicals, uh, you always have to keep in mind what you would put on the bottom in order to get rid of all those radicals. If you only have a single term, uh, feel free to multiply by what would complete whatever that radical is, so, or so complete like the square in there or complete the cube. If you have more than one term, use the, the conjugate to go ahead and rationalize the denominator. Thank you for watching, educator.com.